The beach is bustling with activity at Cafuntin, a fishing village on the south coast of Senegal. As crate after crate of fish is brought to shore, the evidence that fishing has taken a turn for the better is piling up. Moro Nempa, who has lived here his entire life and has been witness to a steady decline in fisheries, can barely contain his excitement. The fish of Cafuntin commence to smile par rapport à les années précédentes. Nous avons eu des qualités de poissons qu'on n'en a jamais vues. Par exemple, on a eu beaucoup d'espadons à Cafuntin, ce qui est rare. Donc, je sais, on a tout le temps félicité les arrêts des bateaux. In order to explain Cafuntin's spectacular new catches, one must look to the horizon. Out here, the local fishermen have the ocean to themselves again. Just a couple of months ago, the Senegalese government cancelled the licenses of 29 foreign trawlers formerly operating in these same waters. This development has meant great news not only for the fishermen, but also for everyone else who depends on their catch. <laughs> Similar to most other West African countries, fishing is of vital importance to Senegal. As the country's primary economic sector, Fisheries employ around 600,000 people here. And for the Senegalese, fish is the main source of protein. For decades, foreign fishing licenses have been a source of revenue for West African governments. But overfishing by legal and illegal operations have depleted the region's fish stocks, threatening the livelihoods and food security of millions of people. A single factory trawler scoops up the same amount of fish in a day as it may take 50 pirogues to catch in a year. Back in Dakar, the writing was on the wall for presidential candidate Macky Sall during the March 2012 elections. With the country's fisheries having reached crisis point, his election promises resonated strongly with the people of Senegal. <laughs> Supported by fishermen votes, Macky Sall was installed as the new president of Senegal on April 2, 2012. Only a few weeks later, the 29 trawler licenses were cancelled and fish landings started to go up shortly after. It's not that fish stocks have suddenly rebounded, but with the wall of trawler nets gone, the fishermen simply have regained access to the remaining fish. In Cafontine alone, 3,000 tons of fish are now being landed every month. And such results are being reported all along Senegal's coast. We have seen that not only the species that were cited are not more consistent, but we have also observed some species that in principle are not cited by these authorities that are reappearing et en quantité très importante. Donc cette mesure semble en tout cas être très bénéfique pour les pêches au Sénégal. For years, environmental organization Greenpeace has been campaigning against overfishing, both out on the ocean and back on land. It's been lobbying West African governments to take a stand and is encouraged by the current developments in Senegal. C'est une première étape, mais une bonne quand même. 
Mais les ressources sont migratoires. Les poissons ne connaissent pas les, les limites. Nous pensons que le gouvernement sénégalais devrait prendre le lead. Il est maintenant le meilleur élève. Ce mieux que ce que les Sénégal font, et fait plutôt, soit suivi dans le pays de la sous-région pour que la gestion soit régionale. Et le grand message, c'est au niveau de l'Afrique de l'Ouest, nous voulons que euh, les responsables politiques de tous les pays de l'Afrique de l'Ouest arrivent également à maintenir le cap de ces produits-là. Nous voulons que nos enfants, nos futurs euh, héritiers puissent manger le poisson. Pour les fishermen de Cafontine, leurs daily trips out to the ocean are still a tough and dangerous affair. But for the time being at least, they're happy to return with plenty of food and work for their community. This morning, they're setting off towards a brighter horizon.